Monero can compete with Ethereum. Here's why. Many coins and tokens in the crypto industry have experienced ups and downs in recent weeks as a result of macro factors such as record high inflation, rising Federal Reserve interest rates, and the ongoing war in Ukraine. Keep in mind that when it comes to your hard earned cash, we don't claim to be financial experts. So at the end of the day, it's entirely up to you what you do with the information we provide in our content. This video will help you to understand the differences between Monero and Ethereum. Before we go any further, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about cryptocurrencies. At least one cryptocurrency project has defied the pattern by maintaining a steady upward trajectory. When you look at historical price data for Monero on CoinMarketCap, you can see that it has grown a lot since it first came out. April was not as kind to cryptocurrencies as we would have liked, but now that the month is over, everyone is looking forward to seeing how their favorite tokens and coins fare in 2022. For the time being, we're interested in seeing how Monero and Ethereum, one of the most prominent coins on the market, are performing in comparison. So let's get right to it, starting with an explanation of Monero and what it does. What's Monero? In 2014, a group of developers banded together with the goal of creating a blockchain based project with anonymity and privacy as the top priority, followed by efficiency and ease of use. They collaborated to create Monero. Monero, along with the Dash project, was one of the first such coins at the time. If you're curious about how Dash compares with Monero, click the pop up banner to watch our video on Dash. According to the Monero website, the project is centered on decentralization, security and anonymity. Ironically, it's these attributes that have prohibited US based cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase and Gemini from listing Monero, which is solely available on a handful of crypto exchanges like Binance and Qcoin. Considering that privacy coins are frequently associated with illegal behavior, US exchanges seek to prevent regulatory fallout from listing them. Regardless, many law abiding crypto users appreciate the idea of anonymous autonomy, which is the most obvious driver of the XMR price spike as people buy the coin before it's prohibited or outlawed. But technically, isn't Ethereum also a privacy coin? Let's compare and contrast the two to see how they differ. Monero versus Ethereum. Even though we're comparing these two currencies, it's important to note that the technology they use is very different, despite the fact that both are based on blockchain technology and offer privacy. It's kind of like yin and yang, the same but also different. When we think of Ethereum, one of the first technological features that comes to mind is smart contract technology. Ethereum's smart contracts essentially let its users and community members create any kind of decentralized application a developer could envision, allowing all users and developers to profit from creating decentralized apps, often known as dApps. You can use smart contracts to show ownership of any sort of real estate or any other property you can think of. In this fashion, Ethereum prevents fraudulent activity, censorship, downtime, and the involvement of any third parties by implementing smart contracts. As a result, smart contracts have become Ethereum's most popular technological feature, attracting a large number of users and investors to the platform. Of course, it's ranking as the number two crypto as well. Smart contracts are useful for more than just declaring ownership and aiding the creation of decentralized apps. They can be used to make transactions, seal any form of contract with a second party, and even handle loans because they are legally binding. To sweeten the deal, Ethereum platform includes all of the tools needed for any user with basic computer skills to design, build and issue their own digital asset that can be used as a currency on the Ethereum platform. Ethereum, despite appearing to be near perfect, has had a few missteps when it comes to faulty technology. The first scandal happened when millions of dollars were stolen from the decentralized autonomous organization, otherwise known as DAO, which is why Ethereum Classic was established after Ethereum went through a bumpy road. We discovered a severe issue in Ethereum's rocky road thanks to an update from its developers, which allowed a serious problem to slip through. Smart contracts were apparently vulnerable due to a flaw in the system. As a result, all users who trusted the system were duped into spending their money twice on the same transaction, making smart contracts extremely hackable. With smart contracts being insecure at the time, hackers had the perfect opportunity to bind users to fake contracts. The Ethereum developers devised a way to patch the security loophole problem, termed the Eclipse attacks, by ignoring all commands within operative nodes older than 20 seconds. 
As a result, hackers' demands were ignored and all users were safe to use smart contracts, make purchases, and conduct transactions. On the other hand, Monero brags about its top-notch security and privacy, claiming that it has the highest privacy rating of all the coins and tokens. Monero is supposed to be untraceable and unlinkable with high security within its system to ensure users' safety while keeping the XMR ecosystem decentralized and transparent. Monero's users' IDs are fully untraceable thanks to an amazing piece of technology called ring signatures. This is because ring signatures shuffle user identities, lowering the probability of identifying any user in particular to the bare minimum of all bare minimums. Monero also uses a mechanism that prevents all users' payments from being tied to their account balance in order to improve overall security. Although ring signatures secure users' identities, this approach adds an additional layer of security by creating temporary addresses, sort of like a VPN. So by generating one-time addresses, this protocol leaves users unlinkable to their transactions and account balances, allowing them to remain protected while gaining complete privacy. Monero offers strong encryption, which makes your wallet impenetrable and your funds stealth-proof to supplement an already bulletproof system that allows maximum anonymity. Finally, like a cherry on top of a cake of supreme awesomeness, Monero uses stealth addresses, which leverage a unique approach that enables numerous temporary addresses to be generated quickly while only allowing the message receiver to collect these addresses. In this instance, any hack attempt becomes unsuccessful, allowing Monero to boast about its entirely private, untraceable, unlinkable, safe, and secure blockchain environment, which allows all users to benefit from fast and secret transactions. Now that we've talked about the distinction between the two coins, we should evaluate their growth rates to decide which is the better choice. Growth rates. While many of you are more concerned with the technology and protocols that your favorite cryptocurrencies use, Others may be more interested in chasing after tokens and coins based on their price and rate of growth. Although the price of a currency is often determined by the technology it employs, this is not always the case. Monero, despite being lower than the price of Ethereum, is the only currency in the top 10 list of privacy cryptocurrencies to experience a significant price increase in 2021. The rise in Monero is all due to the announced hard fork that took place on March 14th, 2021. Because all users and holders receive 10 Monero V for each Monero unit they own, it's likely that many investors flocked into Monero in the hope of making 10 times their investment in the near future. A wise decision? Most likely. This is probably how XRP got to its highest price point after March at $350. But it's important to note XRP has dropped 5% against the dollar in the last 24 hours of making this video, which isn't exactly a huge decline when compared to the currency's massive gains in the past. After the most recent price decline, Monero is currently trading at $202. Although Ethereum has had a harder run compared to Monero, it has managed to recover, despite the fact that the most recent price shift put it in the red. Ether has dropped 3% in the last 24 hours, making it available for trade at $2.745 at the time of making this video. So, which should you choose? Conclusion It's important to remember that the cryptocurrency market is extremely volatile, and anything can happen. If you're considering investing in any of these cryptos, you should always do your own research and only invest what you can afford to lose. Given current economic indicators, users' need for anonymity in the crypto industry and Monero's market capitalization of $3.6 billion, this project has a lot of promise. That is, until countries band together to prohibit the use of this cryptocurrency because of the way it raises its middle finger to them. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. Please also leave a comment below to tell us which crypto is better between Monero and Ethereum.